Hi guys! So I know we talk about this kind of in general every once in a while, but I wanted to talk about gratitude today and um, how it's very important that we express gratitude sometimes when things don't seem like they're going very well. So I want to give you the perfect example. Um, so this last week, my girlfriend and I were taking a road trip uh, all the way to Denver. And we looked at the weather before we left, but unfortunately um, things had changed and it was really kind of snowy and slick on the first part of our trip. So we were going slow, we weren't using cruise control, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, uh, this big gust of wind came, we hit some ice, and we went straight into the ditch. Now, I was concerned because you know how time slows down when you're going, um, when you're kind of like in those emergency situations and I saw a post and I was like, oh man, I hope we don't hit that. Um, my babies are sleeping in the back seat, all of this stuff. So we kind of just like drifted right into the snowbank. And for a second, it felt like the car was going to flip over, but it didn't. It just went whoop and it hit the snowbank and it stopped. So we're in the car, but because of this, something had happened with the heating system and the inside of the windshield started to freeze. So thank goodness for cell phones. We called to get a tow truck, all of this stuff, and um, we called the hotel to tell them we would be late. And the lady at the hotel, because we were in rural Minnesota, like in southern Minnesota, um, tried to assist us with this. So she had called the police. Um, every time that a car was driving by, you know, they're going too fast. We're so afraid that they're going to slide right into us. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Now, um, the car is starting to freeze. The heat isn't working. It's 8 degrees outside, and with the wind chill, it's probably below zero. So even if the car were able to get out of the ditch, you couldn't drive it because the windows are frosting on the inside. So we're afraid we're going to like freeze to death. Now, we talked to the police, and there's one police officer on staff, like in a patrol car, for an entire 90 mile radius, which seems crazy, but I guess that's how it works in small towns. So we're, we're in there. And then finally, um, the one cop, because there was no emergency for 90 miles around, shows up and um, allows us to go wait in the car, in his patrol car, in the back of the cop car, for the tow truck to come, which took actually three hours. Uh, <laughs> you got all your important things, like, uh, right. I have my blanket. I, I don't think we need anything except for us, right? Like, uh, do, yeah. do we just, need our I'm stuff? Just, I'm just bringing, I'm, like, my money bag. I'm gonna bring my phone. I'm leaving mine in here for now. Okay. So it's, like, five in the morning now at this point. So we get in the car, and we're sitting there with all the kids, and, um, you know, the magical thing was when we crashed, my son didn't even wake up. We, he sat in the car. Um, still sleeping for a whole hour as it was beginning to freeze. And um, as soon as we get into the cop car, we're all settled. You know, the door is shut. It's nice and warm. He says, Alhamdulillah, which is like, thank God for everything. And so in the moment, you know, my girlfriend and I were like, oh, what a sweet boy. But we didn't realize until the next day, you know, because we're so focused on our problems, like, Okay, tomorrow when this car gets towed, um, are we going to be able to continue our trip? We're in the middle of nowhere. How can we get to an airport to fly home? Or, you know, what if it doesn't work? What if nothing's open in order to fix this car? What if it's too expensive? So anyway, point is, the next morning, we, we end up at the hotel. We go to sleep. The next morning, we go out to the car. Everything works. The heater is working. The windows are clear. It's still cold out, so it doesn't even make sense. And we get in and we're able to continue our trip. So we're driving about, I don't know, maybe a mile. So over the course of the next 10 miles, it's wreck after wreck after wreck that we see. We saw a RV that was completely shredded. Shredded. Because, you know, like... They're driving and it gets progressively more dangerous. Had that not happened, had we not slid into the ditch, we would have continued our trip and we would have probably suffered a much worse fate. Not a single one of us had 
a scratch or a bump on us. My son slept through it. He didn't even know that we were in a ditch when we woke him up and got in the police car. Like the seat belts didn't even get tight. The airbags didn't go off. We were all safe. The car worked fine the next morning. Everything was perfect and wonderful. And so in a way, sometimes spirit or the universe does things that make us feel like, oh, this isn't very good. You know, this is so unfortunate. It's such a pain in the butt. This is such a challenge. This is a bad thing. But really, it's not a bad thing because it's saving you from a harsher faith. So what we need to do is express gratitude even in these hard times, you know, and as adults, we didn't necessarily have, we're so focused on the problems, we didn't necessarily have that insight to do so. But a child does, you know, because children are still more connected to spirit. As you grow up, maybe you disconnect a little bit. So anyway, I just wanted to give you that friendly reminder that, you know, especially in a Mercury retrograde when things seem hard and we're in one I get, uh, for the next six days and there's a shadow period, things can be a little bit difficult. But always try to remember that even if you can't see until later, until you're looking back with hindsight, that sometimes the things that are rough are the things that we need to be grateful for because they either teach us something, they save us from something, um, all of these positive things that come from, hi Astrid. <laughs> but, but anyway, so that's my point. So just remember to express gratitude uh, to the universe, to God, to spirit, whatever you believe, even when things are rough because we often are either being saved from something that is uh, even worse for us or we're learning a lesson. Okay? Love and light.